So first, you're going to want to make sure the boiler is drained. Mm -hmm. um, this one is. Um, the reason for that is if it tips around and water is coming out of it, um, it'll break down the packing material that you're using, the box that it's in. Yeah. If it's being shipped in the wintertime or up in the air, if it's on a, you know, on a plane, um, and there's water in it, it can break lines, hoses, even boilers if, okay. it's, if it's in the boiler and it freezes. And that's, that's a huge expensive repair. Yeah. So for, <laughs> any, for any machine, really. Absolutely. Rockets or not. After the boiler is drained, you want to make sure that uh, any loose parts are taped up. Mm -hmm. um, this is the drip tray for this machine, port a filter. You can see a nice thick bubble wrap all the way around them. Okay. So, you know, sharp metal edges. We don't want them denting the machine or puncturing a hole in the box. Um, also, lids and other loose parts on the machine. You can use residue free tape and make sure those just are... make sure they don't go bo yeah. bouncing around. Yeah. And once that's all taken care of, get it in a plastic bag and wrap it up okay. so that the packing material won't get in with your machine and if there is any additional water that's you know, small amounts of water that are working their way out of the machine that they won't um, you know, compromise the packing material itself. So if it's all sealed up, you're not going to have anything to worry about. It's in its own little environment. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's like bubble, the espresso yeah. machine version of Bubble Boy. <laughs> we can now only touch it through gloved hands. Okay, Bio, so. Biodome. Biodome, exactly. <laughs> I guess if you can at all possible um, for these, especially for these larger machines, maybe try and save the original boxes and yeah. the original packing That's material. That's a good idea. I never do that. Yeah. So it's, you know, hard for me to tell people to you know, stash all your boxes. Yeah. Cool. If you have the original box, uh, use you know, that stuff. Use that. Okay. Um, on these machines, you're going to want to use two boxes no matter what. All right. Uh, with packing material in between the boxes. Um, preferably double walled additionally if you want to take a look at these mm -hmm. this is a double walled box a lot of manufacturers packaging will not be double walled like this okay It'll be a single walled box um, good for shipping on pallets mm -hmm. uh, not good for shipping on their own um, okay because they're so. not really a lot of times you might see your friendly UPS guy is not so friendly with your box yeah they fall out of trucks and yeah that's and the like. Yeah. So uh, two double wall boxes for a machine this size is is ideal. Um, you know, ideally, if you can take your machine into a store that'll pack it for you mm -hmm. with um, you know Instapacks or blown foam that okay. will totally you know mold to your machine and keep it from moving at all. That's the best way. Not everyone can do that. Not mm -hmm. everyone has access to that. Mm -hmm. uh, these are much more accessible for your average consumer or someone okay. that's shipping a package. Uh, packing peanuts, you can find a lot of different locations. And we want to create a nice little bed on the bottom. As I said, this is a 80 plus pound machine. Okay. So, uh, so how many inches am I thinking about here? Um, I would do four to six inches. It's, great. it's really going to compress with a machine this size. Okay. Normally I'd say three to four inches is good. If it's um, a lighter machine? Yeah, I mean that's kind of a good bet, but with this being so heavy... It's going to put, it's going to um, yeah. press the, all those peanuts down. Yeah, I think that's a good amount. Be careful when you're picking them up too. Yeah. Right. So that's nice. That's, I can tell that it's not touching the bottom of the box. It's, okay. It is resting on the peanuts that are in there. And um, it, during transit, it's going to keep compressing more and more, right? So yes. the more you start with, the better down yeah, below there. Yeah. Okay. But again, uh, we're going to put this in a bigger box, and there's going to be even packing material oh, okay. on the bottom there too. So double whammy. Yeah. This guy in there. That's secure too. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fill it up again. Get a good amount overflowing so that you can push it all down the sides. 
as much space as you can fill. Yeah, you just want to compact them. So that's to the point where it's pressing up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Close this box. So this is the, this is the first one, and then we've got this big guy this is, here. This is stage one. This is the outer. You can see there's there's just a couple inches. Yeah. Difference. So we can't put a our ton. usual two to four inches of peanuts. Just, okay. Just a small little layer, so that there's a little extra. So you always, before you're adding packing material, you know, check the size of your boxes. Mm -hmm. Make sure that whatever you're using will fit. That should be good to okay. give it a little cushion, but still um, allow the double box. Let's set this in there. very carefully. Okay, and we've got equal room all the way around the box so now it's just filling that filling that stuff again. in okay it does take a lot of packing material to protect a machine of this size but it's uh it's definitely worth it mm -hmm. Finally, uh, ensure your your package. Okay. Um, for the cost of the machine, and especially with with machines of this size, um, you know, accidents do happen and damage does occur mm -hmm. in transit, whether it's UPS or FedEx or anybody. Um, so ensuring the package is just peace of mind okay. for you, and in case something does go wrong, you'll you'll be covered. Okay, so after so. I've done that, I'm going to address it to, if we're sending it to us. Yes, if it's um, coming in for a repair or, or you're returning it to us, you will have a number that you can add to our address. And then it will make sure that it's directed to the right, right department and okay. it will be processed quickly. Well, do I want to put any other markers on the box other than that? We have these stickers in our shipping department, but mm -hmm. you can write the same thing. Okay. Um, we affix these to all sides so that you can't look at the box without telling that you need to take extra, extra care. care. <laughs> and, and then that's just a, a, a friendly cautionary this is tale a caution, for them. Yeah, for the, for the delivery. So they know what they're getting into. Yeah. Because this could be a giant box Let's filled with stuffed puppies and, and that is like, you know, two pounds, right? Right. Yeah, <laughs> cool. All right. Well, that is packing a large machine in that 80 pound kind of bracket. This is going to get there in tip top shape. Absolutely. Thank you, Spencer. You're welcome, Kat.